a warm welcome to all of you ladies and gentlemen and young students who are with us today we have a very special chat session today on hospitality as a career and with us is mr vishal kumar dean of guru nanak institute of hotel management mr kumar welcome to the show thank you thank you so much indrani ji and it is indeed a pleasure to be a part of this chat show and thank you so much for inviting me i'm sure this is going to help lot of youngsters lot of young students who aspire to take hospitality management as their career so thank you absolutely and uh, uh starting uh, with firing off the first question to you uh hospitality today is a very promising and uh, a very glamorous uh, career choice um what is your take on that statement no i i believe indeed hospitality is absolutely one of the most promising career and the best part is it is a career which is globally accepted it's not only restricted to any particular country um, i remember when we were students when we were young you know people were not very familiar with this profession or probably they never used to take it in a very right sense when somebody used to tell them that you know go and join hotel management or hospitality management but today it is one of the most promising career as you rightly said and it is indeed uh, one of the most favorite career option which youngsters want to opt for after their you know higher secondary it is it is easily uh, acceptable by all these youngsters and they all want to be a part of this uh, dynamic career which is hotel management or hospitality management today absolutely absolutely so uh, what makes uh, guru nanak institute of hotel management different from uh, other similar institutes no oh, of course you know indeed uh, guru nanak institute of hotel management is very different uh, because when you talk about career when you talk about any profession when you talk about your academics there are certain points which every parents or every student wants to you know uh, keep in their checklist to start with if you will talk about guru nanak institute of hotel management the affiliation is something which is very unique you will be happy to know that you know we are affiliated to aict you know uh, all our courses are ugc approved uh, we are the only uh, private national council college in west bengal which is again a very big usp for us that's and, amazing yes and moreover if you will talk about it if you will look at our course curriculum under one roof you get a career option of choosing like diploma diploma in hotel operations you talk about diploma in food production in bakery right, you talk right. about diploma in food and beverage service you talk about diploma in accommodation operation so any any young student after say class 10th they want to pursue uh, the career in the field of hospitality at the early stage they can easily do this diploma and they can get into the industry at an early age at the same time there are many students or many you know young people who are already working in the industry or and without any qualification for so reason you know this course will help them to gain that certification which is a professional uh, certification and they can move up the ladder with time which is which is very unique now when you talk about our graduation program we have graduation program which is bsc in hospitality and hotel administration we have a ba in international culinary arts which is completely you know culinary centric you know we have bhm city course which is a four year aict approved program so it's a huge range huge range of course moreover if you also want to go for higher studies under the same roof you can do your master degree program which is mba in hospitality and hotel administration wow. which, which not only covers uh, hospitality part but it opens the door for all these youngsters in various sectors today you know if you talk about uh, hospitality management or hotel management it is uh, it gives you a lot of career option when we graduated we used to think that hotel is our ultimate destination but today with this program why people value uh, hospitality management so much is because of the career opportunity after your course you can get into hotels you can get into restaurants you can get into catering business you can go to airlines 
you can go to cruise liners you can go to retail sector you can go to event management company tourism industry banking sectors you know railways hospitals so all these avenues are open and at gnihm if you will specifically talk about if you will look at the campus it is a lush green campus which helps you to get that holistic growth you know when you talk about your college life it is not only about classroom studies at gnihm we have a huge campus which is more than 8 acres where we have playgrounds you know basketball court gymnasium everything is there for the student which they need in this in their college life and this is what makes us very different from many of our competitors around absolutely very well said most often students uh, get uh, lured by seeing attractive advertisements but the points to look out for as you rightly pointed out are the uh, government accreditations the uh, size of the campus and of course the applicability of the courses to the industry absolutely so um that 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 was very enlightening uh, now to move on to a, a slightly more uh, serious topic uh, parents and uh, students alike are uh, in a dilemma due to the pandemic um mr kumar is this the right time to enter into the hospitality industry uh, i believe absolutely yes you know to be honest with you in rani ji uh, you know definitely pandemic has affected you know it has not only affected hospitality industry but it has affected all the industries you know apart from one or two here and there but uh, you know we all need to be very positive we all need to uh, see the brighter side of life rather than you know uh, complaining about what we have gone through indeed it was a sad moment but we are gradually coming out of it as you see most of us have almost completed our first vaccination and we are moving into the second stage and we are hoping that very 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 soon the government is uh, go, you know they will allow the senior students to actually physically come into the college and we start their normal studies talking about time you know when these students who will be entering into their college life now in 2021 by the time these students will graduate we will be into 2024 moreover there is one very interesting point i also like to mention here is a uh, lot of things have changed post pandemic you know and we as a college we have also restructured our syllabus keeping all those factors in mind so the students who are enrolling now by the time they will graduate they will be well equipped with all the necessary knowledge they need to have to succeed in this industry number 2 if you even if you'll talk about from logics point of view i believe hospitality industry is yet to see the best era of the entire time frame why i'm saying this is a simple logic today all the industry who are suffering from last year and half you know i'm sure once we will get into a normal era all these industries will put the best foot forward you know to regain their losses to recapture their market to reestablish themselves and what will happen if all those industries are going to put their best foot forward it means we will simply have more traveling it means we will simply have more events conferences this is i'm talking from a corporate point of view and on all these uh, several uh, factors it will directly affect hospitality industry so we will boom we will bounce back much faster in comparison to any other industry that is Absolutely. one point and secondly even if you'll talk about within you know our country the domestic customer whom we talk to you know who we address to most of us are sitting at home for years now for ages now and we all are tired we all want to go out we all want to travel we all want to enjoy that we break with our family you know so i'm sure uh, soon things will be normal we will have lot of travelers we will have lot of guests and industry will bounce back this is the beauty of hospitality that we are linked with every industry today 
and hospitality will bounce back much faster in comparison to any other industry so students don't worry about it this is the time to get into an industry this is a time where you can reshape yourself learn new things learn new dynamics and start a flourishing professional career which is just around the corner so there is nothing to be sad for this is for all the parents all the students this is the best time to get into a hospitality industry absolutely mr kumar i think that we all agree with you because the place to be is not where the ball is but where the ball is going to be and surely by 2024 the ball will be in the court of hospitality absolutely that takes us to our next question according to you what are the key attributes of a true blue hospitality professional oh this is this is one of my favorite question you know indrani ji why i always say so because this is this industry or this profession is a very unique profession in a way uh, you will be happy to know as far as hospitality is concerned uh, students from any background whether you are from science stream whether you are from commerce stream whether you are from arts team you know you can join hospitality management course after your class 12th or 10th or even after a graduation uh, for that reason that is number 1 number 2 is this is one industry where your success is not defined on the basis of a piece of paper called mark sheet i know many of my friends uh, many of my juniors many of my seniors who are very average student you know in their school days but today they are the industry leaders they are running the industry they are they have established themselves on top of the industry and what is the reason behind this in hospitality education in our industry your success will depend a lot on a good blend of your knowledge and your personality so i always recommend this that the people who love to live their life people who love to enjoy their life should always be a part of this industry in our industry you need definitely knowledge is important i'm not saying it's not important but along with that your basic personality the soft skills which you talk about you talk about communication skills you talk about your interpersonal skills how you meet people how you communicate with them how you treat people your confidence your leadership skills so even lot of students who are not from technical background see all five fingers are not same you know i come from a very small town in bihar that's where i'm from and uh, when i decided of joining hotel management people were not even aware about this profession and people used to you know tell me that no this is not the right profession this is not something which will give you success uh, in my last 17 18 years of career i have traveled the world i have established myself i'm very happy with it so i think this is one industry where you need to love what you do it's a passion driven industry this is one industry where we work more from a heart less from our brain so if you enjoy your work if you love what you do and if you want to meet new people travel the world and experience a new life almost every day this is the place for you you know this is what uh, makes hospitality people so special we are different we don't cry about problem we always smile we always take life in a very positive way so all you students who have that creative uh, you know approach to your life and who wants to enjoy their life in a very dynamic way in a very passionate way welcome on board we are all there to help you gnihm will make sure that you get the best of the best education so that you can be the star for tomorrow oh that's amazing uh, talking about uh, gnihm Uh, and the uh, GIS group, uh, we would like to know what is the secret of your continued success. That is, you are going from strength to strength every day, every year, while other institutes are experiencing ups and downs, fluctuations. So, what is uh, it that makes you go through such a successful journey spanning so many years? No, I, I again, I believe that ups and downs are part of life, even. Uh, when you talk about gs gis group uh, the mantra remains the same that you need to focus on what you do you need to be very honest with yourself 
and if you refer to our managing director mr taranjit singh he himself always says that that uh, you know education is something which should be for everyone everybody should get uh, you know equal right to get educated we believe in uh, complete student centric education regardless what is your starting point regardless where you come from whether you are from a english medium school whether you are from a bengali medium school whether you are from hindi medium school whatever is your background we we don't focus much on that part we focus on our end product in gis group or in gnihm our entire focus remains at our student student is our first priority and whatever best possible we can do for our students this is what we aim to do rest everything is secondary be it infrastructure be it your placement be it quality education and moreover be it showing you the right path you know values are always very important in life your your discipline your way of thinking how you uh, handle situation react to the life is very important and at gnihm we aim to make you we aim to make you a good uh, human being first and a good professional on a secondary part because if you are strong with your mind if you have that right values in you we are 100% sure that you can overcome any hurdle in your life and this is what the beauty of uh, quality education is and that's the reason you see our students uh, they are doing very well and i'm sure in future also regardless where you come from don't worry about it the entire gis group and the gnihm family also you know we are always there for our students ensuring that they become the hospitality leaders for tomorrow amazing so um i hope you welcome a lot of uh, hospitality debutants for today who would be hospitality leaders for tomorrow um we're almost coming to the end of uh, this session now and uh, uh on, on a slightly different note uh, you have been associated with several youth events you have organized several youth events uh, recently you are associating with a, a corporate learning and development uh, enclave called talking tomorrow so what are your thoughts uh, behind this association no it is it is very important to expose the students to the right platform you know learning should not be uh for one or two students you know who are very sharp no we don't believe in that we believe in choosing and associating ourselves with a platform which can help maximum students and they must get that proper exposure and this is what we believe in and keeping that factor in mind uh, we are very happy that we you know got associated with talking tomorrow Uh, which has got so many eminent personalities who are a part of this enclave and they will uh, they will be interacting to our students so we we consider ourselves to be very lucky where our students will get a platform like uh, you know talking tomorrow lnd 2.1 enclave where they will get to hear out straight from the captains of the industry the real stars of the industry and i'm sure through various seminars they have so many nice sessions you know which will affect the youngsters who are going to be the leader for tomorrow so when you have to learn at gnihm in gis group we always believe that you should learn from the best and in fact to highlight that i am very happy to uh, say this that a very dear friend of mine and also i i personally consider him one of the best uh, lnd trainer in in west bengal today who has changed so many lives not only in west bengal rather he is very popular in the whole country and he is one man who can transform many lives only through his wisdom through his way of talking and through all his experience so let me not tell talk more about him uh, allow me to invite him mr bonik if you are there i'll request you to please put some light on this event and how this event is going to benefit the students of gnihm and gis group mr banik welcome to the show thank you very much it's uh, nice meeting you virtually again and i look forward to meeting you face to face soon vaccination drive going on overdrive 
we are optimistic of station resuming soon enough and our workforce returning to their places of work our restaurants and hotels beginning to do brisk business again our events having every seat occupied but the important question remains how will we guarantee predictable results in unpredictable times after this black swan event the million dollar question remains what will happen in the event of another black swan event it is in that context that talking tomorrow our annual lnd enclave in its 2.1 digital avatar focuses on making not predictions but projections about tomorrow as it ought to be rather than as it might be by default what do i mean by that there will be a tomorrow of default if we do nothing and then there will be a tomorrow of choice if we get together to improve our quality of life and work life good character remains and will remain the foundation of good managerial skills and good leadership effectiveness would you agree with that vishal 100% absolutely right so you know when you talked about a lush green campus with libraries and gyms you were effectively talking about giving a chance to your students to sharpen the saw and uh, we are lifetime students you know learning never comes to an end so also in this enclave you will be hearing thought leaders practitioners researchers and industry captains as you yourself said talking about what they think tomorrow will be like and how they think we will make the transition from where we are to where we want to be and this will be done through ceo panel discussions this will be done through guru speak on a crazy interest in chaos where the master trainer is going to be talking about rafael nadal's backhand and at the end of the guru speak you will probably end up learning about strategic disruption we will have international trainers like melanie martinelli joining us all the way from the swiss alps and talking about the new training interventions which vishal your faculties in gni hm and gis will have to adopt and adapt to in the new normal just like us lnd professionals because chalk and talk is already a matter of the past digital is here to stay but at the same time the human touch can't be missing and through this two day lnd enclave 2.1 in which we are proudly partnering gni hm and gis group we will be taking tentative but firm steps towards the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022 in the midst of all the despair will come the spring of 2022 and i am sure the light will shine brighter while we thank gni hm and gis for joining us as sponsors because of course it is not possible to put together an enclave without the financial support of stakeholders i would like to go a step further and congratulate you for your choice because this way you stay at the forefront of the cutting edge of the knowledge revolution absolutely and it is as dr apj abdul kalam once said our knowledge that makes us great it was great for me to be here this evening to listen to indrani and you and i wish you the very best of luck and success for the future success is what happens luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity you don't just get lucky you haven't come so far by being lucky and similarly when i wish you luck i am actually wishing you the best of preparation 
and the best of success. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Banik. Thank you, Mr. Kumar. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for a wonderful session. And see you next time. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. And indeed, once again, mm, do not be worried about anything. Believe me, you are about to see the best era of hospitality. Welcome to GNIHM. Just come with a positive mindset. And I'm sure every student who will be a part of this great institution will be the leader for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Indrani ji. Thank you, Mr. Bonik. It was indeed a pleasure meeting you both. Take care. Bye-bye for now.